How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my C Sharp programming series. Today we are going to be looking at the uh, control numeric up down. Um, what, what we're going to do basically at sometimes we want to restrict a user's input choices to a specific range of numeric values and that is the purpose of our numeric up down control um, which is what we have here. The control appears as a text box um, with two small buttons on the right side, uh, the up arrow and the down arrow. By default, a user can type numeric values into this control as if it were a text box, or they can click the up down arrows to increase or decrease the value in the control respectively. So the largest and smallest values in range are specified with the minimum and maximum properties here. Um, we're going to restrict the user to um, 10 maximum, one minimum and the increment button every time they hit the up or down it, the increment value will be incremented by one. You can change this to two or uh, whatever you see fit. Um, <clears throat> the decimal places property um, right here will specify the number of decimal places that the control should display as an integer. Um, the uh, up down where is my up down align? Up, my up down align property right here uh, basic, basically will modify the alignment of the up and down buttons on the numeric uh, control. Um, this property can be used to display these buttons either to the left or to the right of the control. So we can move them on this side if we want it. I just I think it looks better if they're on the right side. And the value of course right here is the numeric value currently displayed in the control. And the event that is uh, commonly generated here would be the value changed. So what we did, as you can see here, I've got a couple of labels and text boxes. I have a button, another text box. What we're doing basically, we created a little um, interest calculator, which will calculate the interest based on the years, the interest rate, and the principal balance. Um, so you can look at our um, implementation here. When the button is clicked, which is the calculate button, um, we're going to generate a couple of variables here, principal, rate, year, amount, basic stuff here. And then we're going to store into these variables whatever the user types into the text boxes for principal, interest rate, and years. So um, the text box dot text was converted to decimal and stored in principal. And we're doing the same thing with rate, except we convert that to a double, and the year we convert to an, an integer. And then the output is the string, which basically we're going to be outputting down in this text box here, the balance at the end of each year. And then here we, um, we just basically calculate it. We modify our output to add the new year, store, and then store the output in text box three. So as you can see, when we run this, go, uh, let's set the principal balance Let's set that at, oh, let's say we have $1,200 in our bank account. Our interest rate, let's say it's at 3% for five, five years. We calculate that. As you can see, at the end of the fifth year, we are at $1,391.13. And again, you can modify that. Um, again, with $1,200 let's have a higher interest rate. Let's say we have an 8% for 10 years. We calculate that. And as you can see, we don't have enough space. So we can just simply go to our form, drag it down. We could have enabled the, um, the um, scroll bars, but I don't like to do that. So again, let's try this again, 1200 and then interest rate at 8% for 10. ten years. Oh, this is not. Calculate that. There you go. As you can see, a high interest rate um, will result in a, a definite higher, um, higher balance at the end of the year. Um, so basically, that's all I just wanted to demonstrate is the numeric up and down control pad. Uh, that's all we're going to cover for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you for my next video.